The Tara is a research vessel that undertook an expedition to drift with the Arctic pack ice and study the effects of climate change. Sponsored by the European Union, this robust-looking schooner spent 507 days at sea before returning to port late last month in Lorient, a city in western France. In all, it drifted nearly 4,000 kilometers around the Arctic Ocean, taking samples for analysis about water salinity, temperature, atmosphere, and other factors. The trip was designed to retrace the path of Norwegian explorer Fritjof Nansen, who in 1895 drifted with the pack ice from Greenland to Siberia. Whereas Nansen's trip took three years, the Tara, led by New Zealander Grant Redvers, took half that time due to thinner ice. It was also a social experiment of sorts, as the international crew was isolated in close quarters in a desolate but expansive region for such a long period of time. Something that sort of touches on a little bit the experience of uh, the, the sort of heroic age of exploration when Scott and Shackleton and Nansen took off and they, they didn't know even if they would return. We were, we were a little bit more secure than that. We knew that we were, it was a pretty high chance that we were going to return and we have uh, satellite imagery and GPS telling us where we're going. But that was really a key thing that attracted me to this adventure, this expedition, personally, was the duration and the isolation and uh, just to feel something of what they felt uh, all those years ago. Crew members were able to learn each other's languages and share cultures as well when they weren't having run-ins with polar bears and watching the aurora borealis. The scientific data is still undergoing analysis at dozens of European laboratories, but the expedition's organizers spoke in Lorient to those who came out to welcome back the boat, talking about how ice is in retreat in both the Arctic Sea as well as on land, and how that will most likely mean a one-meter rise in sea level the world over. Given the attention climate change is receiving these days, this probably isn't much of a surprise. But the expedition's data should provide more specifics about what lies ahead for the planet.